So for this first part of the question then, what I've done is I've taken the sketch that we're given. Just briefly though, just to recap, we're told that a ball is thrown from this point A then, a height of two meters above the ground, and it travels to this point T. It's projected with initial speed of U at an angle of alpha to the horizontal. And the maximum height reached by the ball is 3 meters. And we've got to show then that u squared equals 2g all over sine squared alpha. Now in order to do this, what I'm going to do is add in the acceleration, okay, due to gravity. That's going to act downwards, so we'll mark that in as such, okay, acts downwards, and we'll call it g. And so what we're going to do is look at a SUVAT equation when we apply it in the vertical sense. And that should be enough to hopefully get us this equation here. So if we consider the vertical motion, I'm going to take upwards as being positive. That seems the most sensible thing to do purely because our initial speed is in an upwards direction. And I've listed my SUVAT variables, okay? S for displacement, U initial velocity, V final velocity, A acceleration, and T the time. So let's put in what we know at this stage. Well, we've got to be careful here with S. It's not distance, it's displacement. And we're starting from A. And so we're going to look at the motion up to this highest point here. So the displacement, that is just one meter above the two meters here. So that's in the positive sense, that's going to be plus one or just simply one. So take care over that. U, the initial vertical component of velocity, is going to be the component up here, which because it doesn't contain this angle alpha, is U sine alpha. Okay, so U sine alpha for that one. The final velocity here, when we're looking at the maximum height, the final velocity in the vertical sense is zero. Okay, it stops instantaneously in the vertical sense before starting to come back down on this stretch of the curve. So the final velocity, zero. And the acceleration throughout this motion here is downwards in the negative sense, so it's minus g. Okay, now as for the time it takes to get from here to this point here, have no idea. We don't even need to worry about it because all we need to do is connect these variables through the appropriate equation. What's that equation? Well, it's v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So you should be familiar with that, okay? And if we use that equation for v, we just substitute in our values, we get v squared is going to be 0 equals u squared, so that's u sine alpha all squared, okay? And to that we add 2as, so we've got 2 times negative g, so it's going to be minus 2g times the 1. So it's just going to be minus 2g. I'll tell you what, I'll just stick that 1 in there though for the time being, just to show that I've substituted it in. Okay, so can you see this is starting to shape up to what we have over here? I can see that if I add 2g to both sides, square out the bracket, I'm going to have u squared sine squared alpha is equal to 2g, and then simply divide by the sine squared alpha to both sides, we end up with u squared equaling the 2g then all over sine squared alpha. And there you have it. Okay?